Hello, Sebastian. Hello. I'm very happy to begin uh, this day with you at Maison Objet. Uh, so congratulations. Thank you. To be uh, the designer of the year. And uh, I wanted to know uh, how you learn that you will, you, uh, you will be chosen uh, by Maison Objet uh, as the designer of the year. How did you uh, learn that? They call you or uh, they send you an email? Or how? I, I think Matthew, who is responsible here for the for the installation and for the design of the year, I think he sent me a text message. Oh, text. So yeah, very yeah. modern. <laughs> it was very modern, yeah, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes also companies contact me with uh, yeah, over Instagram. Yes, Instagram. So this is, nowadays it's like this, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a fantastic honor and to have this great space here to showcase our products and yeah. our philosophy. Yeah, that's cool. That's very good for you. Yeah, it's amazing. This, uh, this pop up. And um, what was uh, your first reaction when you realized that uh, you could uh, build uh, this uh, pop up and uh, show your work and show your, uh, your, your way to create? And uh, what did you do? You call your mom? <laughs> I told my team first of all, huh? yeah. which is most important to have the, a great team in the background and we are working on several products so it's not a one-man show anymore like I don't know 12 years ago when I started directly after university and then of course I called my friends and the parents because it's a uh, it's really uh, yeah amazing moment now for me to have this opportunity to showcase at, the, at one of the first shows of the year. Yes, that's super. That's yeah. really nice. Um... So let's talk a little bit more about you. Have you always known that you will be a designer? Yes. Yeah. I was always a creative person. I, d I was looking for the for the profession more precise that it's called product designer. What I'm yeah. doing, yeah. but uh, still now I'm I'm more thinking in a creative process. So I like interdisciplinary processes. I like to discover crafts and to understand about other cultures. So that's why I'm really traveling a lot yeah. around the world. So. We can see that in your creation. Yeah, yeah, and I get so much inspired by the people and by yeah, by cultures and what they are doing. And so I think that's really a big privilege of my life that mm -hmm. I have an opportunity. And this is all driven, of course, by curiosity. And I think this is something which is also important nowadays for our generation to be curious and open-minded, to be, of course. yeah. Of course. And um, what was your first uh, design emotion and uh, at what age? I mean, uh, maybe you see a super uh, beautiful lamps and you were like quite shocked by the beauty or uh, something like that happens or... Uh... Yeah, well, I, I grew up on the countryside and my parents haven't been into design architecture or something like this. So mm -hmm. I went to flea markets and uh, yeah, looking around and I found a nice chair and if I could afford it I took it home then I did a research and then it was learning by doing so with okay. research who was the designer and it was maybe Arne Jakobsen and so, another one yeah so maybe you uh, create your own uh, culture by yes. yourself and yeah at the beginning yet. yes and then yeah. there was more research in books and visiting museums and so step by step and the, the same was with opening my own practice after university. You have your base and you mm -hmm. know software skills and mm -hmm. things, but then you have to start by your own mm -hmm. to create your own uh, design philosophy, yes. attitude, yeah. language, and um, this I do now since 12 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, so, did you create your first uh, piece uh, 12 years ago, your first design? Uh, Objects or? Yeah, yeah, of course. I started with small products, and there are also products uh, more or less nobody knows, like a birdhouse and other things. And then yeah. there was uh, exactly 10 years ago the bell table I, yeah. I sketched and did a prototype, and I was looking like three years for producer, and then it came in production 2012. And I think this was one of the first strong pieces mm. the media's love, mm. the people, and it's still. Uh, yeah, it's classic on its yeah. uh, big. Uh, yeah, it's nice. And yeah. this was the first product really to show my design approach about materials, about uh, craftsmanship. craftsmanship. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think that this table, it really um, represents your design. It's a uh, design very eclectic, but a design also um, who, um, who tells stories, because you work a lot with uh, craft, uh, craftsmen. Yes. 
it's because uh, you you love your country uh, is, is that because it started with crafts in germany yeah, yes, with the bell germany. table but yeah. now it's really about uh, traveling worldwide yes, to colombia yeah. and others and i really like to work with people directly i like the dialogue and yes. the conversation and to with observe Ames, them example, also with uh, armas and yeah. there i go for, to colombia which is not really a design destination it's a beautiful no. countryside and they have beautiful materials to work with yeah. Uh, yes, a tradition also, exactly. uh, a, a very different tradition and that's very interesting I think in your work because uh, you work also with the African people from Morozov yes. and uh, it's another culture, another yes. way uh, to, yes. to work with uh, materials and um, we can see in your work that uh, you have um, very conscious uh, that uh, design is gonna change your working with the other materials and uh, with Morozo it was uh, recycled uh, PVC. And uh, what's your um, what do you think about design today? What what's your uh, do, are you um, how to say that? Are you optimistic with uh, the design? Because I think I'm optimistic because also the the way of consuming products changed a lot yeah. in the last or with the last generation or the millennials and so yeah, on. Yeah. I think they are more looking into quality. It's the same with buying f uh, food to cook. Huh? They and they go to local markets and buy the vegetables there. Mm -hmm. And it's the same with furniture. They look into quality. They want to know where's the production. And I think that's a good sign because we have to take care of all this. Designers have a huge responsibility mm -hmm. and also a huge power. So we have to communicate it. And sure. we have to think about resources, about recycling, about credit to credit and all these aspects. Yeah. Yes, because I can see that in the same time, there is a, a lot of people too, that they want to buy more and cheaper. And uh, exactly. there is two, uh, two mentalities. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And for me, it's very important uh, to do products uh, in a good quality, in a function, in a nice story with great people and that they become like companions for our life something mm. we have for our life yes, hopefully timeless exactly timeless, design. timeless you can't maybe control you never know huh yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. of course you are a little bit affected with colors or I don't for know. Sure. but yeah. i think it's important to to teach people or to tell them that it's nowadays ridiculous and the wrong way to buy something and throw it away two years later like closest exactly <laughs> exactly question a little bit uh, strange to uh, learn about you more so um, for which brand it will be a dream for you to work with and to create pieces oh that's difficult when i was young and a student i was it was always a dream to work with moroso because yeah. you, i think you have a huge freedom and it's nice how they combine materials and colors yeah. but i think uh, there are a lot of uh, companies uh, which are, which are nice to work with. There are new ones, which is great. There are established ones, but there are also a couple of companies that never worked with designers together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this I like also, you know, Armes was a project, they start, we started from zero, but there's also on the stand these tiles. And they are produced by a company, they do normally tiles for stoves, for heatings. Yeah. And I asked them if they can do it for a wall covering. So yeah. it's something completely new for them. And we started with this soap tile project. And now we, have, we are very successful, have hotel projects around the world cool. to cover bathrooms Super. and things. And this is something very important. I think you have to support companies which are just sticking in, on wine topology, maybe to open them, to have mm -hmm. another market mm -hmm. and to think or look over the, the board of a plate. Yeah, huh? yeah, 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 of course. And uh, you have a lot of projects time I mean, uh, you're yeah, yeah 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 we, we we wanted to show some uh, some novelties here also mm -hmm. at Maison Objet yeah. to and have to take this opportunity and you are, are you working on uh, something else and in the same time have you uh, uh, on other products of course it's yeah, always, always. Uh, yeah because sometimes take a product takes a half a year sometimes mm -hmm. take three years okay. so uh, this is also something you have to learn to be patient when I did the rug here read which is the first presentation here for the rug company from mm -hmm. London it takes up to two, three years to produce a rug because you get a sample like a square meter and then it takes like six months to see the sample and then you have to change colors and details then another six months. So this is something in our Western civilization we have to learn to be patient because with Amazon Prime we buy and get it the same day or the next day so we get everything very quick or information with social media yeah, and yeah. internet. 
So I think that's the really uh, something important we have to tell that crafts takes time because there are a lot of humans and hands involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also craft is the imperfection also. And also, we can read that uh, on your text in your exhibition, a bubble in a glass. It's, it's, a, it's a beauty, it's it's a, beauty. it shows uh, that it's crafted yeah. and also with the date on chairs yes. at the front of the exhibition. A craftsman works four days to do the seat, four days. And people ask me, oh, they look all the same, are they done by robots? No, they are really human beings doing it. They are sitting there, they have the, the patient and they have the amazing knowledge in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And they do it for four days, one chair, and it's amazing. And at the beginning, and, and that's why we... Yeah, the end, four days, yes, it's and that's why we show one which is not finished. Mm. So you see all the crazy fibers, yeah. like crazy hairs. Yeah. And they really have to control them. That it per looks perfect at the end. And it's really amazing the yeah. work what they are doing. That, uh, we call that the, the beauté du geste. In mm -hmm. France, it's the beauty of the, the hand. Or, of course. Uh, yeah. And in F France, I think you have it a, a lot with this craft, in fashion mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. And also with... Uh, yeah, with, with crafts for, for products and I think that's a really a strong value for the country yeah, yeah. but also for the civilization. It's very traditional. Uh, and what I always say, a craft is always connected to a community or to a city or to an area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's also important because people in a city identify with the crafts what they are doing. Yes. I'm based in Offenbach which is next to Frankfurt yes. and Offenbach was a German leather city but it was. All the production left to, to Italy or, ah, somewhere, Italy. or also to East. Because it's cheaper or more, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and the city somehow lost its identity. Mm -hmm. There are beautiful buildings now; they turn them to luxury apartments. Mm -hmm. The last years, but somehow the identity is missing because it was a leather city, but it's not anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have it in France the same. There's a city dedicated to denim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the same. Or, or, or also with food, or... Roquefort with yeah, the yeah. cheese, yeah, or the yeah. area with champagne. Yeah. And and of the, the people, culture. yeah, yeah, and but it's so important to to keep this culture. Yes, we are. Because um, if you go to cities, more or less all the cities look the same. Huh? Mm -hmm. Of course, you have the Eiffel Tower, mm -hmm. but the shops are more or less the same yeah. everywhere in the world. So we have to be careful that we don't lose all these special mm -hmm. uh, identities. Identity, yes, yes that. and um, about identity, can you um, describe me a little bit your house? It is uh, like a house, a flat. Uh, it's a it's an apartment, apartment, yeah, with a rooftop terrace, and I lived there with my husband, mm -hmm. and we moved in two years ago, yeah, uh, which is a new building, so we could change the layout, and uh, yeah, it's a mix, a kind of like my products, products of friends, products I like, a lot of souvenirs from traveling mm -hmm. around. Ah, yeah. But the souvenirs we, we use, you know, we mm -hmm. have for the soup, we have plates from Zimbabwe and Africa. For the dessert, we have plates from Bangkok and Thailand. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the main course, we have beautiful ceramics from, for, uh, I did for Armas in Colombia. Mm -hmm. And this is always a nice starting point to start mm -hmm. a conversation with people, especially if there are people I don't know for dinner. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's, that's always nice. And I, I like to have this kind of references from other places. Yes, it's very interesting to begin yeah. a conversation. Yeah. Uh, yeah sometimes starting, you don't need that. Sometimes there's someone yeah, yeah. you don't know. And then you can start, yes. yeah, this is a plate, mm -hmm. and then you, and you talk, talk about, about culture, 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 about traveling. Travel, and yeah. I like to have these souvenirs. Yeah. Because nowadays you take a lot of pictures, but at the end you don't print them or put mm -hmm. them in a, in a book. Yes, you have no so souvenirs. this is something you, you catch somewhere and you can display or you have with you. It's like uh, your, your house, or it's like a cabinet curiosity. It's like a curiosity cabinet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, of, yeah, yeah. There's still a lot of space, so I hope it's will be not too crowdy at, at, the, at the end, but it's nice to have the things around. Yes, I love, me too, my, my yeah. house is full of objects, I love objects yeah. <laughs> from around the world. All and it's about colors also, yes, you know, it's like here yeah. with the stand, uh, it's not a white cube, you really want to have colors because colors uh, give a personality, give yeah. a personality or character to the product mm -hmm. and I think it's important to have the beauty of colors around. Mm -hmm. And um, my last um, question will be about uh, your uh, perfect dinner with designer. Which designer would you invite uh, around your table for a dinner? So I have to think about the uh, one who's living, still living. No, 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 you, no. it's a, a dream dinner. So you can uh, have, uh, I don't know, Arne Jacobsen if you like him or... <laughs> 
I think there's a, there's a, a very nice uh, French one, Jean mm -hmm. who was work early last century, and he was more like you yeah, called like decorator. But he did. I have a book, and he did amazing drawings and amazing furnitures, which are really inspiring. And you can find them at uh, Rue de Seine in beautiful antique shops. Very expensive nowadays. And I think it would be interesting to talk with him or with Eileen Gray. Mm -hmm. She was one of the first women huh? mm -hmm. in a mm -hmm. in a men's world, mm -hmm. which is un unfortunately still a men's dominated yes. world here in design. I don't know why. And I think it would be interesting to discuss with them. So a small dinner with less people. Yeah. <laughs> very interesting. Thank you very much, Sebastian. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.